Sons, but yeah, we're just not gonna talk about those, I guess. Um, sorry, we're we talking about good albums. Yeah, Meteora and A Thousand Sons. Okay, no, no, no. Meteora was great, but A Thousand Sons still has some good albums. A Thousand Sons is their best the album latest, after the those two. Commentary TV. Oh God. Oh, no. so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. We should sit outside. Uh, we c maybe oh, we could. Maybe could. It's true. Sure. Okay. Let's see if we can move these cords long enough for some commentary. I think that's Billy's. Oh. All right, replay. All right. Huh? Oh, I probably just um, put it in there. Anyway, so. Check, check. Yeah, it should be good to go. Cool. So as of right now, we got this first game wrapping up right now. Got green team of Crow and Leo. Oh, Gendo versus... going deep. Oh, Gendo. he got it too. Oh, yeah. So if Gendo can just get a couple more of those gimps, then we could definitely he can definitely turn that game around, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, without ever getting grabbed again. Yes, basically. Which is hard in doubles. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Pitt just keeps helping out Gendo. Yeah. Ooh, that was... That was a risky thing to throw out that bear there to try to escape that, but it worked out for him. Yeah. Ooh, another game? No. I'm going to fix some things really quick. And Jared is crawling away. All right. So that is game one to Crow and Leo. What? What's the problem? Don't do that. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, Jerry. No. I will kick you out of my house. For, for touching your calf? Yes. Oh? I didn't realize that's against the rules here? Yes. D damn At long. least not when I'm when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> I know that you were looking at my butt the entire time. No, I was not. <laughs> okay. You are a grown man, Jerry. <laughs> I'm 15 years old. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, so they banned uh, Dreamland and Green Hill Zone. They're hovering over Norfair right now. 
Snuggle Looks like they're going to be going commentary. nowhere. <laughs> um, All right. So we got. I'm not quite sure if I quite agree with this, just because it's a low ceiling. Fox likes to kill off the top a whole lot, and, and so he's going to be. Yeah, if, when Pitt kills. Yeah. Maybe. If, if, if Pitt kills. Sometimes. I feel like Pitt just kind of sets up for Fox. Yeah. And then Fox just kind of fades in, works around in this matchup. Yeah. Yeah. And then... And then Pitt dies, and then that's just pretty much the matchup. Yeah, basically. I feel like uh, it's kind of the same thing with Ganon Rob. Rob just kind of goes in, does some damage, and then... Um, Sets up for Ganon to do some heavy hits. Yeah, he'll just kind of go in, set him up for kills and such. Mm. That Ganon skin is cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's part of the uh, the legacy. It's the alternate skins. That was a really good recovery by Rob. He like went up and he had one boost left, but he knew you could use his down air to get back on the stage without having to use it and risk getting edge guarded more. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a really smart idea to be able to. And a really nice early gimp on the fox right there yeah. by Gendo. Doing dash attack, but... Oop, that's going to get tech. Nice. Oh. Okay. He tr they almost got there to save each other, but there was just too much going on. Yeah. Yeah, Fox ended up getting grabbed, and pit recovery is sad. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know if he used glide or not, but so far, this is actually working out for them. Uh, yeah. Both characters being decently light um, and getting some solid gimps is definitely working out really well for them. Is that forward air That's upward? That's dead for Gendo. See, I noticed a lot that when Gendo... Like, it's kind of like a bait kind of guess thing. Because when Gendo uses his boosts, then you see their opponent get a lot more aggressive. Mm. So, like... I've seen him use that too and against his advantage. Yeah, because they want to get the hit off so that way then he just kind of gets gimped. Then they go off stage and then Gendo can also reverse the situation. Mm -hmm. That's the dangerous thing about Rob. You really got to use invin uh, ledge invincibility well. Uh -huh. But the thing is about that in teams, if you're spending so much time um, edge guarding one enemy, your teammate might also be in trouble. Yeah. So in some situations it uh it can definitely be better just to let rob recover for sure and then because uh, rob can definitely stall off stage for a second yeah. or two yeah which is enough yeah to... he takes forever yeah. to get back so but so far this pick is going for the most part well uh for this for them I mean, Gendo if, just needs a grab if he can get i don't know I, that's uh that's why i have struggles with rob being alone at the end of doubles is because, like, one of his best kill options is go throw, especially on Pit, who's super light, you know, or else he needs to land a solid bear, which is, you know, bear, fair. Kind yeah. of, they're just awkward to land, especially in situations where you're constantly being pressured. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, that, ooh, was, that, that was, was weird. really good grab, actually. Yeah, that was, oh, there we go. Oh, there God. it is. All right, now we just got to survive this, get back on stage, start this up. See that was a that was a smart uh, shine there just to bait out sort of the laser. Yeah. Because I get no tries to use that to catch jumps all the time. That was a nice pivot grab. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, uh, fastball too fast. 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 All right. So t tying it up one one right now. All right, so, game trace. Mm -hmm. I could definitely, I could potentially see a switch from Leo because I know that he usually plays Ness, um, so that can definitely help. And then doing something like maybe a bigger stage, and then maybe focusing gimping on Ganon. Yeah, because I feel like Ganon has the ability to like stock tank as well as just. Lose all stocks so fucking fast because mm -hmm. like he can mess up. I mean, if if you can, if you're good at edge guarding your fox or anyone, like fox can just shine spike Ganon. and Ganon's dead because yeah. it's not like he's game watching. He's gotta make it back anyway. Yeah, yeah. His recovery is still actually not fantastic. Yeah, I mean he's got some distance on it, especially if he's hit at an upward angle. But like, he's yeah. not gonna be doing much. So yeah, I think that's a good strategy for them. 
Why are there so many skins for stages? Uh, cause it's Legacy TE, and that's what they did. Cool. It just makes it seem scary to play, cause I think it's gonna crash all the time. No, it's it's usually not too bad. Well, this will be this is mostly gonna be the first test run of it, so let's see. Yeah. Man. Uh, looking at my SD card, it was almost full. Like, yeah. It was like red. It's like, hey, hey, this is almost full. You should probably delete some stuff. I'm like, nah, it's fine. You're like, nah. I just got all my music on there. It's okay. <laughs> well, even the mu music doesn't take up much space because you have to erase the files anyway to replace it. True. Um, depends on some of the songs though. Yeah, because they can be uh, longer and shit. Too. Yeah. So like, I have some songs I could be like, like ten to fifteen megabytes just yeah. because some of them are super long. Yeah, because like some of them I didn't I just made over eight minutes. So yeah. they, oh, they, no, no, they no, don't no. have to loop. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Cause um actually if you pause and then leave it for a long time, it'll the song will still play. So sure. then it can it can run out if it goes to a timeout. That's very unlikely. Yeah. Or if you leave it on paused for like ten minutes or something like that. But um if you do it through um is it? I mean, I normally I use a BRSTM maker that makes it looping. Okay. So it's you, fine. Do you do Brawlbox? I do. Uh, I just start using Brawlbox okay. for just editing stages and characters and stuff. Okay. But yeah. Like, if you do it with music, then you can have it just loop. Oh no, um, yeah, the infinitely. BRSTM one that I downloaded automatically loops it anyway. So. Okay. But anyway, we weren't talking about the match literally for a minute and a half. Shut up. Um. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's both of our faults. Um. Green team in a slight lead. They got one stock, but they got okay, quickly there you go. <laughs> overtook the lead, as I say that. As long as uh, Rob doesn't die for a little bit, Ooh. then they can oh definitely go. Oh, the arrow into up air? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Maybe that's why pit arrows are really good with this team, or why pit's good with this team. Yeah. Because Fox can just kind of go in, spam tech skill, and hit yeah. boxes, and then... And then Pish just like, yeah, you're going to hit him, please. Yeah. I'll just you snipe around and then yeah. set up. You have to say please, though, or it won't work. <laughs> please. And Blue's in the lead by whole stock. Yep. Yeah, there was, uh, there was an unfortunate very early stock um, that Fox lost. I think he was only at, like, 40. He went a bit low. It looks like Don's going for some... Suicide setups on the edge. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. No, I, I, would, I agree with it. Okay, that grab didn't make sense, but whatever. Because as soon as they can get one kill, that's just a 2v1 for them. And the... Yeah, for sure. Super fine. There we go. Goodbye, Fox. Just getting Rob up in a way. Not trying to... Ooh! Ooh, unfortunate. That was really bad DI. Okay, but Fox is way off stage. Ooh, mm -hmm. almost had it. Probably wouldn't have, have killed, but it would have set up for some good edge guard yeah. situations. I think if he would have done down smash there, then it would have been good. Yeah. That was a nice Ooh, pair. Good and catching. That's good that's catch. Good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was really good. All right. Don and Gendo taking it 2-1. <laughs>